everybody one head injury later welcome to the channel i am filming this currently on earth day and i thought it would be kind of fun to pay tribute to our grass pokemon our green pokemon and open up some green products i i found some and we're gonna open them <laughs> so i thought a fun way to do this is for me to try to name off as many green Pokemon as I can in like, I don't know, a minute or something. I haven't thought about this ahead of time, so hopefully I can name more than like two. Uh, <laughs> so let's just see how this goes and feel free to join in to see how many you can name off in one minute. I'll trust you. I'll trust you all the time yourselves, okay? We're all adults here opening six plus products, all right? <laughs> okay, and time is starting now. Go. All right. Bulbasaur, easy peasy. Grookey, he's on my play mat. Chikorita, Rayquaza, I see them back there. Uh, I don't think you can count substitute dolls, so I won't say that. Um, um, uh, panic. Okay, 43 seconds. All right, boo, calm down, think. Um, there's so many more. Scyther, boom. Uh, okay. Uh, Trico, I guess that's one. Uh, Shaman? Does Shaman count? I'm gonna count Shaman. That, that seems fair. Um, Trubbish? He's like trash color. <laughs> Dark green? <laughs> um, uh, uh, oh my gosh, I really can't think of any more. Is that really it? Eight? Oh my god. Metapod, Metapod, boo. Um, uh, five seconds. Uh, uh. I couldn't think of one more. Ah, oh, well, I am so bad under pressure with things. Okay, let me think, let me think. Green Pokemon, Tyranitar. Oh my gosh, there's so many more. Snorlax? No, Snorlax is more blue. Anyway, I'm trash at this game. Uh. <laughs> All right, my little honeysuckles. Let's get into opening this super cool product. Let's do it. I myself am a plant mom. I have so many plant babies that are my pride and joy. Here we have our Galarian Surfetch. So Meteor Smash for 200. Honestly, Galarian Surfetch is super killer in Colossal decks, which is the only time I've actually ever played him, but he's really, really pivotal in that deck. Its ability allows you to instantly attach all the energy you need from your other Pokemon onto it. So if you have a Pokemon with a lot of damage, you can switch into Surfetch as a very easy attacker, a very easy transition. Uh, it can't use its move more than twice in a Row, so you'll have to retreat out and back into it if you want to use it again But luckily it's only two retreat costs So you can always just chuck an air balloon on and have a little bit of leeway and shifting things around there But seriously great card sort of alternate attacker and we have the jumbo version of him as well Ooh, look at those demon eyes. All right, here we go. And then these are the packs that it comes with. Two Darkness Ablaze packs, one Sword and Shield, and one Evolutions. Why I have Sidlipede up here for our goal card is because we're actually gonna be opening this tin today as well, so that's for later. But let's start with Evolutions since it's the oldest pack here. Oh my goodness. I remember we would get evolutions packs in these promo boxes and be like, oh, evolutions. Ah, oh, so played out. I don't really get the hype behind evolutions as well. Not the worst. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> XY evolutions. Um, yeah. So let's open this Garbo evolutions pack uh, first. Cosmic Eclipse. XY Evolution. <laughs> An Unbroken Bonds. And oh my goodness. An XY Evolutions pack. Why, Pokemon? XY. Why? <laughs> I, I'm still not a huge fan of Evolutions. I'm just not. I really just am not. <laughs> I don't know why. Did I do this correctly? I think. No, I feel like I did this wrong. I may have done this wrong, but we're gonna see, I guess. Maybe I didn't. I did three to the front. Uh, we'll see, I guess, if we have the, the rare on the back. Ooh, Reverse Hole Seal 
And yeah, wow, I actually did it correctly. So this is the non-holographic Mewtwo. It still is always cool seeing some older artworks, uh, opening some older artworks, especially since we do so much modern here on this channel. And then that reverse hollow seal, low key, I like this one more than the Mewtwo. <laughs> this is such an adorable artwork. That face is just the epitome of my life. I very rarely get pulls out of uh, older packs, like, I think the one super crazy pull I got was a uh, Mega Rayquaza, and that was really cool, out of one of those little Pokeball tins. But that's about it. Now we're going into Sword and Shield. So this is base set Sword and Shield. And then we'll have two Darkness Ablaze packs. Oh, man, it feels like Sword and Shield was so long ago, which is crazy because it's still like a new set. Reverse Holo Nikki got a ticket, and wah, buffet. <laughs> That was my best impression, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> I actually have never pulled this card. I've never even seen this little cutie. Gritty comeback. Switch all damage counters on this Pokemon with those on your opponent's active Pokemon. Oh, I lied. I lied. I do know this card. This was in the Sword and Shield pre-release is the only time I've seen this card uh, actually played. And it was actually pretty good in the pre-release. Um, that's such an interesting move that it has the Gritty comeback. Uh, Shadow Blind for 70 during your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon can't retreat. So it's one of those like locked in moves. Not super good, especially for two for 70 outputs. Pretty bad. Um, but switch all the damage counters on this Pokemon with your opponent's active Pokemon. Why that's not necessarily good uh, is because if you have damage counters, that means you were not knocked out. So there's never going to be a time where this is really switching a ton of damage counters onto your opponent's uh, Pokemon. This is a very situational card, unfortunately, and I feel like in most situations, it probably would not work out. Uh, <laughs> but it's still super cute. Wobbuffet is my homie, so I'm happy to get a pull. I still don't expect anything too crazy, but this is Darkness Ablaze. So a uh, goal card would be for our Crobat, something I actually have never pulled on this channel as well. Man, I love going back through these old artworks. I miss them so much. Furret and a Monantric as well. Monectric? Monantric? What did I call him? I'm so bad with that. All right, so no pull for that one. Going into our other Darkness Blaze. This is our last Darkness Blaze pack. Let's see how it goes. If this is a pull, oh my goodness. If this is a pull, this would be a very, very good box. A.A. Ron, Kabchu, Rowlet, cute little Jigglypuff. Oh, one of my favorite Diglett arts. This one's super cute with googly eyes too. Uh, reverse Hall Dedenne, yeah, that's a good pull. This is the Mad Party Dedenne, so pulling a reverse for that is pretty nice. And hip it down. All right, next box, we have another Galarian Surfetch. So this is just gonna be exactly the same as last box. So it's three to the front. This is in fact how you do it. Misty's Determination. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Surfing Pikachu. Now that's a cute one. Oh my goodness. I love this one. I might actually put googly eyes on him because uh, <laughs> he's cute. Uh, Poliwag, Diglett, Seal, Nidoran, Ponyta, Reverse Hollow Haunter. Yo. That's super nice. I don't think I've pulled that one before. And a Raichu. <gasps> this is a holographic Raichu. What? I I don't think I've ever pulled a holographic out of XY Evolutions. And we just pulled one of the cutest. This is going into my cute little uh, cute retro cards binder because this little guy, look at that face. It's just like the seal. This expression is just the epitome of me. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, look at that hollow too. This this was the good old days with these holographics. See, a hollow like this is so much cooler in my opinion than the modern hollows that are just like the lines from Sword and Shield. All right, Sword and Shield. Here we go. Back at it again with the base set Sword and Shield. Quillfish, Energy Switch, oh, that cute Wooloo. Sobble, Pincurchin. Okay, so I used to say Pincurchin. I still say Pincurchin, but someone in my comments said it's actually Pinch Urchin. 
I think is what they said. Pinch urchin or something like that is how you actually pronounce it. And I was like mind blown. But honestly, his real name is always gonna be Butt Cheeks Face. <laughs> let's just, let's just not bypass that. Uh, reverse hollow score bunny and, ooh, Sandaconda. Okay, so here's a holographic uh, from Sword and Shield. So let's compare the actual hollow. Which do you like better? The modern holographic from Sword and Shield or the old school holographics? I guess this one fits into the art a little better, maybe? Whereas this one looks more like a cutout. I don't know. Okay, darkness, two darkness of blaze packs, and then we're heading into our Eldegoss tin, which I'm so excited for. Hopefully it's not struggle gloves, Hey, <laughs> I miss this artwork. This combuskin is so cute. Galarian Mr. Mime. Uh, Little Dino, Passimian, Pass Passimian, I feel like I always say it. Oh, Scarred Forever by this Pokemon. I don't even want to acknowledge its existence, but that is Reverse Hole Rare. And Hydragon! Uh, I have a bunch of sealed promo boxes I just haven't gotten around to opening yet that I'm just saving, I guess, to open on the channel at some point. But yeah, this is usually the pull rates. They're they're usually not super exciting. <laughs> I love this VBAS art. Darkrai Reverse Hollow. Oh my goodness. That is a reverse hollow rare for us. And <gasps> oh, and a butterfree V Max. PTSD Butterfree, baby. <laughs> I absolutely despise Butterfree as a Pokemon. I feel like I can't say that because we're not hating on grass Pokemon today. Not on Earth Day, boo. Um, there's a rare Butterfree that I pulled more than anything in a set. And since then, it has just scarred me. And every time I see a Butterfree, I'm just like, oh, why can't I get good pulls? <laughs> <laughs> so, not a huge fan of Butterfree. You know what's funny about this though? I always said this this card is like really, really bad. It's still very, very bad in my opinion, but I've actually been beaten by this deck before. Someone played a Butterfree deck, I had terrible draws, and I lost to a Butterfree, and that was probably like one of the saddest days uh, of my life. All right, now we're going into this Eldegoss tin. Look at this little puff boy. He is so, so cute. You guys wanna see the cutest thing ever right now? Hold up, Penny? Shake. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. <laughs> anyway, we're opening this cute little Eldegoss tin. Now we have the promo Eldegoss right here. So pretty. Oh my goodness. Eldegoss V looking absolutely adorable with his little puff head. I love him so, so much. Let's get it rolling. Again, our little uh, goal card here is Sizzly Peed. My man's over there. I'm seriously gonna make pins of Sizzly Peed with like a cute little hairdo. Uh, that is just goals. I'm gonna make it happen. It's it's happening. Boozle, Yanma, Traffinch, Nicket, Gossiflower. Ooh, ooh, I cannot grab. Oh my gosh, that's why! That's why I couldn't grab it, it was stuck! Oh my gosh, send the baby! Oh, I haven't even pulled this. Oh my goodness. Holy, look at that cut. Oh my God, that's terrible. So many mixed emotions. <laughs> that has got to be the worst cut I have ever seen. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's get this baby into a sleeve. Uh, if you don't know why I just freaked out about this card, it's because Sent a Baby is my MVP. I absolutely love Sent a Scorch. I have won so many games with Sent a Scorch. It's probably the deck I'm most familiar with, and it's just awesome. Fire Snack, Go Burr, pretty much. I, I love Sent a Scorch so much, so pulling this shiny version of Sent a Scorch is major, major for me. I am so, so happy. Well, can't complain too much, even though it's cut absolutely terribly. It's still a shiny. VMAX, which I could not be happier with. Uh, Black Mamba, Energy, Dartrix, Rotom, Cute, Morpeko, Nicket, Eevee, Gossiflower again, Choodle. Ooh, two for one shrimp combo, the bros. Reverse Hollow Choodle and Thievil as well, Holographic Thievil. Here we go, next pack. Ooh, ooh, an Energy of Water. <laughs> Team, Team Yell Towel. I don't think I've ever actually read this card. Team Yell Towel. Heal 50 damage from both active Pokemon. Wow, that's so bad. 
<laughs> that's that's such a bad card. Yanma, Morpeko, no wonder I never even read it because I was just like, what even? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Shiny Waluigi and a Manaphy on the back. Yo, I swear, this is like the third time I've pulled this card. This has ha This has to be a really, really common card. Like, there's no way, because I have pulled this. I haven't even opened that much Shining Fates, and I've pulled this now, I think, three times. <laughs> it looks like a little gremlin goblin dude. I don't know. He's He scares me, okay? <laughs> Another Black Mamba. Oh my gosh, Boo dropping cards over here. Dropping the Rusted Shield. Cramorant, Morpeko, Spinarak, Boozle, Rowlet, Kill with Fire, Trap Inch, Reverse Hollow Vault Canyon, and Celebi as well. And this is a reverse holo rare Volcanion. Two more packs. Can we get cute little Sizzly Pete? Please. I want him so, so bad. Snob, Grookey, Spinarak, Shinx, reverse holo Cacnea, and oh, Boss's Orders, non holo. Honestly, for this many packs, we've gotten some great, great pulls. And this is our last pack from this tin. Let's see. Yo. How painful would it be to be stabbed with a rusted sword? <laughs> that sounds terrible. Uh, that sounds like many infections if you don't already die from the rusted sword. Horsey, Grookey, Reverse Hollow Trap Inch, and last but not least, oh, another Thievil out here swiping up our good poles and replacing them with itself. Uh, <laughs> Thank you all so much for tuning in to the cute little Boo Earth Day edition uh, opening. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did filming it. Thank you to my patrons as always. And until next video, I will catch you guys later. Bow, 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 bow.